beloved parents teachers and students in this session uh, we are going through monsoon music it is closely related with the himachal pradesh it also symbolizing the national dignity songs about sowing and separation each of himachal pradesh 12 districts has its own tradition of folk songs about the rains defined by the topography in india the monsoon nurtures and devastates it brings life so music brings life and sometimes death it frightens and bewitches it is both anticipated and dreaded longed for and wished away it is also inextricably linked with the culture of india the rains have inspired poets writers musicians artists to create some of their most compelling words the folk music tradition has been particularly inspired by the monsoon be it in the north south east or west there is a bound to the folk song for uh, several that uh, speaks of the rain and what it represents in the series based on conversations with the folk musicians and experts we examine monsoon music each of himachal pradesh 12 districts has its own tradition of folk songs about the rains defined by the topography in the chamba region for instance a rich tradition of singing kunjeri malhar is the presence of uh, devdas has thrived over centuries in himachal each village has its own devda and an oracle through which the devda addresses devotees in the kankra and mandya regions the trekkers train forced the men folk to migrate in search of employment this is a turn this in turn gave birth to an entire genre of uh, bira songs words is about a separation from the beloved which uh, women would sing while addressing the clouds or the migratory birds through these songs the women would express their uh, yearning for their lovers these folk songs these uh, sweet very sweet folk songs were composed at a time when road connectivity in the hills were next to non existent during the rains the rivers would uh, swell and flood in plains making the men's return impossible all the same time at the same time the reason was also marked by the sowing of paddy the women would sing as they worked in their fields their songs describing the beauty and fury of rains the hardships of their life and of course sorrow at being separated from their men the geographical constraints also meant the people of the hills had little interaction with the outside world therefore the tradition of singing songs was attached to certain superstitions for example in the mandi region women were told if they sang chinji that is songs to be sung only in the chaitra month misfortunes would be fall their brothers similarly malhar malhar would be sung strictly in the month of seven following certain rituals moreover specific tribes would be assigned the responsibility of singing these uh, songs in mandi region members of the hesi tribe would visit households to play mangla chari on the pahadi shahnai at the onset of seven in the chamba region abdals who hail from baria village near chamba usually sang malhar many of them migrated to pakistan after partition leaving a vacuum in the tradition 
The singing of the highly melodic Kuncheri Malha in Chamba has a long tradition that combines historical, geographical and cultural elements. A fair is held on the second Sunday of the month of Savan at uh, uh, Chaugen in Chamba. The Minjar Mela, Fair of Maize, commemorates the large-heartedness of the king, who once accepted the gift of a, a chef of maize from a poor woman. The centuries-old fair also celebrates the victory of the Chamba king over the ruler of Trigartra, now called Kangra, in 935 AD. People assembled from across the region, the fair, wearing silk tufts as a symbol of uh, a minjar. They also carry in their hands a paddy plant, a rupee coin, a coconut and a seasonal fruit, all tied up in a red cloth meant as an offering to their devata. A huge procession for 200 deities accompanied by singers and dancers descends on Chaugam from the neighboring villages and the fair commences with the singing of Kuncheri Malhar. The most notable songs of Kuncheri Malhar are addressed to Kunj, a bird found in the hills around this time. Ja Meri Kuncheriyo, Barsel Eo Mere Rama, Udike Mila, Kayon Undike Mila, Mere Pritham Ho Rama. The singer tells the bird, pleading with it to carry their message to her beloved, promising gifts if the bird does so. In Kunjari Malhar, songs are based on Raga Malika, Raga Malhar, whereas Gadi songs, Gadi, uh, that is a nomadic tribe of the Chamba and Kangra regions, are based on ragas like uh, Tilak Kamoth, Desh, Malhar, etc. All the songs have a common theme, that of the Naika yearning to be united with her lover. One finds plenty of Bridji, Basha and Urdu word, words in these songs. This is because the Abdals, who are Muslims, are said to have migrated from Awadh, bringing with them the richness of that region's compositions. These songs are well composed and follow a slow rhythmic arrangement. Himachal folk songs are noted for being melodic and are sung with the uh, tonal variations. Here is a snip snippet of one of the popular uh, fox songs about the rain from the Chamba region on which the Naika addresses a cloud disclosing that uh, since being separated from her lover she has lost all interest in daily course. Ore Badra Mere Pia Gayo Papadas Savanayo Ayo Risenia Tora Leyan Hadra Mere Pyar Mere Pia Pardas Na Main Nati Na Main Doti Na Main Kita Singer Na Main Sage Chakke Suti Ve Mera Saya Gayo Pardas Savan Ayore. In another song, also addressed to the clouds, the Naika speaks of the heaviness in her heart and then forced uh, separation from her beloved. The lyrics of the the lyrics of one song are rendered as a, a duet between mother and daughter. The mother is uh, concerned as to why her daughter looks so emaciated. To which the latter responds that the streams of a peacock have been keeping her awake all night. The mother then proposes to have the bird killed the daughter insists that she wishes to keep it in a cage. In, an, in a Gaddi song, a girl requests a tailor to stitch a smart coat for her 
so that she can visit the Minjar Mela. In the Mandi region, it is uh, mostly women who sing the songs since the men would be working in distant lands to keep the home fires burning. A popular verse decries this needs to be parted. The author wishes to acknowledge the contributions of Dr. Satish Sharma, a scholar who has written several books on Himachal Pradesh folk music. Rubeshwari Devi, a collector of folk songs from Mandi, and Vijay Sharma, a miniature artist from Chamba. This article would not uh, have been possible without the insight shared by the experts. Among the most delightful paintings by the master artists of the paintings of the uh, Bhagavad Purna series, Krishna, the other overheads and the uh, gopis take a refuge under a pair of trees during a sudden shower, Krishna and his favorite gopi shelter beneath a shawl. The cows provide a cover to the lovers. A liana embraces the tamala tree in its coils. The trees themselves seem locked in embrace too. On the crown of a tree, a peacock, the lover of the cloud, shouts exultantly. Snow while Sarah's cranes uh, soar into the sky. Meanwhile, two gobies carrying pictures say to each other, and expressed in the following verses by the poet Bahadur, translated into English. The jasmine is entwined with the chambaka. The nagalata is embracing the tamala. The rivers are rushing merely to mate with the ocean, and young women overcome with passion are seeking their lovers. The restless lightning is dancing in the dark clouds. May you also be blessed with love, O Sakhi. Radha and Krishna tryst on the outskirts of the village. As they stand on a bed of leaves, there is a fish of lightning among the dark clouds and it begins to drizzle. Krishna raises his blanket to protect Radha from the rain. This is a painting of rare beauty, expressive of the tenderness of love. From the Brahmasa series of uh, Kankara paintings depicting the month of uh, Shravana, that is uh, July to August, the rainy month of uh, Shravanas, a yeah, month of lovers. It is a month of lovers, amorous and passionate. The lovers are uh, seated on a chowki and the lady points to the lightning thrashing across the sky. She urges her lover not to leave her alone in the month of Shravana. The painting is inspired by the following verse from Keshavadas Kavipriya, translated into English. The streams look so lovely and they rush to meet the sea. The creepers enchant the eye, embracing young trees lovingly. The lightning flashes restlessly as the sports with the rolling clouds. The peacocks, with their shrill cries, announce the mating of earth and sky. All lovers meet in this month of Shravana. Why forsake me then, my love? From the Brahmasa series of Kangra paintings depicting the month of uh, Baden, that is, uh, that is the name of the month, that is August to September. The lovers are uh, seated in a balcony of a garden house watching cranes in flight. On bearing a clap of thunder, the woman clings to her lover. The dark clouds, lighting and peacock depict the ambience of Baden. The painting is inspired by the following verses from Keshavadas Kavipriya, translated into English. It goes like this. The purple clouds are gathering, 
The thunder rolls and the rain pours in torrents. The wind blows fiercely. The cicades chirp continuously. Tigers and lions roar. And herds of elephants fell the trees. The day is dark like the night. Living at home is like a nectar and separation is like poison. So I pray, leave me not in this month of battle. So the art and literature, dance, painting are very much attractive so far as our Indian culture is considered. So you must follow these culture, paintings, music and art forms across India to unite India to shout the slogan Ek Bharat Shreshta Bharat Bharat Mata Ki Jai